Beating back pain is a constant struggle for many Americans, 46,000 of whom categorize theirs as debilitating, including Jarrett Langford. It started out probably, I guess, right around eight years ago and had a horse wreck. A horse flipped over on top of me and uh, he crushed me. The fall crushed several discs in Jarrett's back. He tried just about everything to buck the pain. We started seeing different doctors getting MRIs and uh, went and done a bunch of injections. His next option was to consider a spinal fusion. Typically a spinal fusion is a surgery where we uh, remove the disc material and we basically fuse or we join two of the adjacent segment vertebrae together. At age 32, Jared didn't want to lose mobility in his spine, so he was referred to neurosurgeon Dean Lynn for disc implant surgery. Newer technologies are available to preserve motion in the lumbar and cervical spine, and those are disc replacements. For younger patients, this is certainly a very viable option. The FDA only approved the artificial disc for a single level, either the L4 to L5 or L5 to S1. The approval also requires patients be 55 years or younger. There are a lot of patients who are interested in the replacements as opposed to fusion. It's, it's still a procedure that it only works for a very select patient population. Jared was a perfect match. Surgery rescued both his quality of life and his finances. I feel great now. I mean, I don't take pain medicine no more. We spent a lot of money out of pocket, you know, going and getting injections and pain medicine and pain management. Researchers are moving forward too, working to make artificial discs available to even more people. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.